Hey, happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. I'm New England 72. This is my first American Hefeweizen. Uh, original gravity, just uh, 049, I think, 1049. Uh, it's not quite 24 hours old. Using Y yeast, first time for me using Y yeast in a smack pack. Uh, 1010. Uh, I made a starter anyway. I like hit the smack pack and waited. Uh, 12 hours, and then made a starter in the morning. Uh, anyway, and pitched into that, and it was it had filled up, it had you know expanded a little bit, but it wasn't hard or anything yet. Um, I like to try to pitch heavy, and then get off it quick. I like my fermentations to happen pretty quick. This one's doing well. Uh, I used an ounce of Haller Tower, Haller Tower. I'm not saying that right. And then an ounce of Tetanang. Uh, the Haller Tower was uh, whole cone hops, just like you see here, left in it, uh, and I'll, at some point, pretty quick, I'll address the fact that I am pitching in all kinds of awful trub into my fermenter, and that's bad. Uh, I really like the blow-off tube, you know, thanks for, uh, thanks to Jonathan, the guy I bought all my equipment from, he, he had these glass carboys I probably wouldn't have otherwise bought, and I happened to mistakenly buy some blow-off tubing earlier so I have it I love the stuff works really well and you can even burp it I know that's super quiet but uh that's just what it is over here I have conditioning in the second week of conditioning so second week of the uh, secondary fermentation this is a what I'm calling a double imperial oatmeal breakfast milk stout. And that might be repetitive. Please let me know in the comments below if it is. Um, and it's, you can see there, it's it's pretty darn cold. In fact, it stayed even colder than that for a while. Let me see if I can straighten that out. Yeah, so that's somewhere in the 62 degree range. Um, but... Unfortunately, it fermented hot, and I probably can't do anything about it now. It fermented at like 72, I think, for the first couple of, first day or so. Unfortunately, I, I um, didn't cool it down enough. Now, again, now that I have a um, wort chiller, that shouldn't be a problem. I pitched the American Hefeweizen at about 64 last night, and it's pretty much there. It's two degrees hotter or whatever. I think I'd consider that perfect. I'm not going to, I'm not sure I'll, I'll cool any more than that. Um, both of these beers were, what do you call it, uh, partial extracts, which I, I am a big believer in for now. Um, I may buy a mash ton eventually and do that or revisit brewing a bag with a bigger bag or maybe brew with somebody with some experience. So I figure out, uh, the whole all grain thing, because I, I think it's kind of cool, but it seems like a ton of work, and it seems uh, pretty darn complicated. Yeah, for for something that I think is already can can be super complicated if you think about it, and I do a lot of thinking. So actually, I should have put it on this fermenter as I was talking. That way you can watch the uh, hops go around. And when I say hops, I mean the yeast. Watch the yeast work anyway. Great krausen on this, I think. I think that's awesome. I've never seen a Krausen like that before. Anyway, uh, happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody.